Knots collapsed towards follow-on defeat. Nottinghamshire's title charge hit a speed bump on day one at New Road, held up by Dolivera and Roderick, the latter finishing the day unbeaten on 91, as the pairs put on 297 for 7 and dealt well with the Division 2 leader's attack despite Jake Ball's 3 for 41 on his first Red Bull appearance in 17 months. And the opening exchanges of the day would follow a similar pattern, Worcestershire moving their way past 300 as Roderick hunted his ton. He needed just a single, picked up as he pushed Ball into the offside for one. The pair's keeper was finishing the season in some form, but he wouldn't get any further. LBW to Hutton for 102, Worcestershire down to their final two wickets. Tongue settled, he and Pennington pushed the pairs past 350, but the number 10 would fall, caught by Hamid off Patterson White. Gibbon stuck with Tongue, the number 9 now in the 40s, as Worcestershire looked for 400 runs. They'd make it to 390 when Gibbon was outcaught by Montgomery off Hutton. Worcestershire, all out with 20 minutes to go until lunch. It had been just the innings they wanted, Knott's title party delayed. And almost as if to rub salt into the wounds, Knott's lost Slater early, bowled by Pennington for six. Middle stub, cartwheeling away. Hamid and Montgomery were unmoved through to lunch, heading in on 12 for one. There would have been concern in the visiting dressing room when Montgomery fell for two, the number three taken at the second time of asking off the bowling of Ben Gibbon. This was not the confident Nottinghamshire side that had lost just one match all season. They were struggling. Clark, out for 13, caught spectacularly down the leg side with a score on 30. Amid the maelstrom with four off the back foot, Hassi Pamid chalked up his thousandth run of the season and brought the 50 up. Only to lose his partner a few overs later, James left. Waits delivery nipped back in to take off stump. Mullaney's eye-catching cameo was defiant, but ultimately short-lived. The skipper out edging to Pollock off the bowling of Barnard. They were really on the ropes when three balls later, Moores couldn't get the bat out of the way and played on for a duck. Not six down and with just 89 on the board. When Hermede fell for Barnard's third, the back was broken of the innings. And the very next ball, Barnard had his fourth. Hutton bowled for a golden duck. There were only tail enders left to try and rescue something now and Patterson White moved the visitors to three figures with four off Pennington, but Ball wouldn't get off the mark, yorked by Pennington for a five-ball duck. With just one wicket left, Patterson White freed his arms, Barnard's figures taking a bit of a battering. After 23 off that over, Patterson White fell two balls into the next, out caught looking for another big shot, Nottinghamshire all out for 128, still 262 in arrears. It had been a nervy not innings, perhaps the pressure of a potential Division 2 title or even the 390 put on by the pairs had got to them. Whatever the reason, they'd collapsed. Hamid their top scorer with 37. Barnard finished with 4 for 26. Without those Patterson White fireworks, he would have conceded just three. Dolivera enforced the follow-on and Knotts once again slumped to a poor start. Another low return from Slater, bowled by Gibbon for 19. Things weren't improving either. Montgomery out bowled by Gibbon for 10. They were coming apart at the seams. Clark, another for Gibbon, taken down the leg side by Roderick. Once again, Hamid was losing partners but battling on, bringing up the 50 with four through mid on. Another fell by the wayside. James out caught behind off weight for one. And when Mullaney had his stumps rearranged by weight for eight, Knotts looked destined for defeat, perhaps even within two days. Hasib Hamid was ploughing a lone furrow. Once again, the main route of resistance for his side, finding in Moores a partner that would stay with him. The Knots opener's hard work was rewarded with a 50. Barnard's loose delivery punished, a tenth four for Hamid. They'd made it beyond 100 when Moores stroked Barnard away for four to bring up the 50 partnership, but Moores would have to go on without his partner. Hamid's wicket met with jubilant scenes, caught by Roderick off tongue. Patterson, White and Moores held on through to the close. The day, an awful one for Nottinghamshire, who'll be keenly aware that they haven't sealed promotion yet, let alone the Division 2 title. They've been given a bit of a wake-up call by the pairs. Defeat looks inevitable, but they'll want to make their hosts bat again. To do that, they need 133 more runs.